Hi everybody. You're looking at an access gate to a siding for the Shinkansen. The Shinkansen tracks are right here. Look at how well uh, wired that is in terms of barbed wire. They really, really don't want you inside there. Nah. No, look at that. There's no way. They don't want you climbing over that one bit. Look at this. I just realized there's a hole right here. Wow. That'd be interesting. If I hear the train coming, I'll run over and poke my camera in the hole there. <laughs> It's like another access point there. There's a little latch there, isn't there? Indeed. But this is the uh, siding here, and I don't think they use it very much, but if they have to put the uh, Shinkansen in the siding, they can uh, divert it over here off of the uh, Kusanagi, I mean, uh, the uh, Shizuka, Higashi Shizuka Station. I don't know what this device is sitting on the ground there, but right over there you can see the uh, very end, if I can keep focus there. Can you see the end of the line? That's the uh, end of the line tracks for uh, the Shinkansen. I'm pretty sure that's for the bullet train. Or maybe not. I think it is, though. I think that's. I think that's. Um, I think that's uh, operating the system. You know, uh, from whatever we would call the track maintenance uh, uh, trains over there for the Shinkansen. And they have buttons here you can push on and off. I don't know what they do. There goes the uh, Shizutetsu line over its uh, bridge. The bridge over the uh, Shinkansen. More barbed wire everywhere. They really don't want you to be in there. Let's just take a walk over here real quick and take a look. See, there's more barbed wire all through here. I really wonder what that device is right there. Oh, you know what that is? That's to keep, isn't that to keep vehicles out there not able to move in any way? I don't know. It's a, I think it's a barrier of some sort for that. But here, this is a, uh, a block and they've got lights up here for it. Uh, some sort of an electrical panel. The bullet train tracks, like I said, are right over there. Oh, boy, that would be a good place to see the uh, sparks fly right there. Hopefully we'll get a train come by. I'll try to focus on that. Here we go. There goes the bullet train, but no sparks. <laughs> but they usually where these uh, joints are right there, that's usually a good place to see the sparks fly. Sometimes they really uh, do fly. They're they quite, quite, uh, quite impressive as the, uh, as the uh, contacts race along the edge there and hit that. Here we are, we're almost to the point where the tracks are little mirror, more barbed wire all through here, and we're going down, this is a little roadway that goes down underneath the uh, tracks. Used to be the old Tokaido Highway right there, if you're a Japan fan, maybe some of you are just train fans. I'm becoming a both, one of both. Yeah, here we are. Here's the end of the line right there. Should have hopped on my bike. There's the, uh, the, it's getting too dark to see. There's some uh, tracks there. Indeed, there are some tracks and some sort of uh, devices there. There you go. Um, very, very serious uh, safety mechanisms to keep the bullet train safe, even in this, even in the little siding area here. Beep, 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 someone's coming through the tunnel there. The tunnel under the tracks, little one lane bridge, a one lane tunnel under the tracks. It's tricky when someone wants to come the other way. There's not enough room. <laughs> okay, take care everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.